That shit keep feeling me up Put it on me while we up in the club Dipping low, we're laying back in the cut Hope you don't mind, cause my hand got a touch Hey, yeah, guess I'm out of luck Cause if I ever lost you, you know I will be Okay, so usually when I get on here and I talk about microphones, it's always about some kind of budget option for beginners to use to get started in their music recording. But in this video, I want to explore the best vocal microphone that you never heard of and see if price actually does matter. Let's give it a try. What is up everybody, I am Legend and welcome to the next episode of Track Out Tuesday here in Mobile March. Yes, this is not really a mobile video, but I was sent this product just like I was last week with the Evo and I wanted to do a review and kind of a little test for you guys to see if this is a really good product to kind of recommend. A couple of weeks ago, I was reached out to by a company called Jay-Z Microphones, which I personally never heard of, but they asked me if I would be willing to kind of review their microphone, put it to the test up against my Blue, which is currently my favorite microphone that I have ever owned because it's budget friendly, but also has really great quality. And just to kind of see how this microphone stacks up. And by the way, the microphone that I'm talking about is the Jay-Z BH2. This is a thousand dollar mic. Um, it does go for about 700 on other sites like Amazon and things like that. But this is a kind of prosumer microphone. It's not really like a beginner level. There are a lot of Grammy award winning artists who have sworn by this microphone as shown on their website that might be something to consider. Now, you know how I am with microphone tests, gear reviews, and things like that. I'm not so much a technical person. I'm more so of a real world demonstration, hands-on kind of person to see how it actually feels. I could care less what the specs say on a box or things like that. So I'm not really gonna dive into this. I'm not that kind of person. There are plenty of videos out there of people who actually know what they're talking about when it comes to polar patterns and all this other stuff. I'm going to dive into the application itself of the microphone and see how it stacks up to a few recordings that I have with my blue. And in doing this, I just wanna kind of explore if there really is a benefit to spending more on a microphone or spending more on gear, period. Because we all hear the whole argument that gear doesn't matter, you know, use what you got and all these things, which I do agree with. To get a certain type of quality, you're going to have to spend a certain amount of money. That's just how real it gets. And so I'm gonna see if indeed that money that you spend is going to be worth the price with this Jay-Z Microphones BH2 Studio Condenser Microphone. It's only 590 grams, so it's pretty light when I held it in my hand. Actually, this box is probably still lighter than, yeah, this box with the microphone inside is lighter than my blue microphone by itself, which is actually really dope for me as a traveler who likes to get around. I like to bring my equipment with me. It's such a sexy black on black, which I absolutely love because black is my favorite color. So that is definitely a plus. I love to record with stuff that looks dope because then it makes me feel dope when I'm like having my studio sessions and I'm like, yeah, pop out the Jay-Z mic and it's like this black on black with some gold accents, you know what I mean? It makes me look like I'm, like I'm doing real business, you know what I'm saying? So a really unique design Design to a microphone something that I know a lot of people are sticklers for and I'm one of them you know you like for your equipment to kind of match your aesthetic and I know that sounds so stupid but like it's kind of important for our image you know what I mean so anyway that's beside the point I want to go to the computer and kind of dive into this song that I was kind of tracking an idea for but I have a few examples of different audio recordings from different setups so it's going to be good to compare it with this microphone but let's go ahead and hop onto the computer check out some more specs and then we'll hop into GarageBand to actually put this mic to the test and see if it is worth spending the extra money let's go so just to kind of take a brief little look at the website, this is where you can get the microphone. This is the USA shop, jzmic.com. Black Hole BH2, this is the one that I'm going to be testing out today. Like I said, for here, it is um, available for $1,000, but you can get it on sites like Amazon, being sold by Jay-Z Microphones, $711. So like I said before, this microphone is handcrafted and tested. A five-year warranty, it's got that golden drop technology that a lot of people highlight about this microphone. Basically what, the, what that is, if we go down to this BH2 feature section is, it's a large diaphragm, true electrostatic golden drop. Now, don't worry about all that phrasing. I know it sounds confusing, but basically what it means is capsule, the way that it's built, it provides crystal clear and transparent sound without harshness. 
so you're able to sing you're able to record whatever you're going to record into the microphone without it sounding too forward too punchy in your face because when that happens then it becomes distorted and you want the cleanest audio possible it's got class a discrete electronics for maximum performance durability and extremely low self noise and i believe what they mean by low self noise is it has a low noise floor so like if i were to record something and play the static noise in between what i'm talking there's not going to be that in the background which is something that i try to look for in every single microphone that i get because i hate having a high noise floor because i stack a lot of my vocals and when there's a high noise floor imagine having 32 stacks of vocals at one section and you just hear all this so that's the really good thing about this microphone as well so here we are in GarageBand, and i'm working on a song called well, this song is going to be called Lonely Summer. It's one that should be on my next project. This was a tester track because at the time I had an Aero audio interface and I wanted to test the sound quality between the Aero and the Scarlet with my blue microphone. Um, so I have a couple of different reference vocals to compare this microphone with this Scarlet solo to the previous recordings to see if there is a difference in quality based on the pricing of the equipment that I use. I'm gonna be comparing the Scarlett with the blue microphone against the Scarlett Solo with the BH2 microphone. And then I'll be comparing those as well with the UAD Aero and the blue microphone. Here we have Lonely Summer. This is the beat right here that we're gonna be using. Let me just play for you the Scarlett and the blue microphone, the Scarlett Solo and the blue microphone with this audio to give you a reference to kind of base it off of. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Sounds good. Sounds like me. Ah, baby. Ah, baby. And we'll play it by itself as well. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Sounds good, right? Ah, baby. You can hear me tween. Ah, baby. Which is interesting, and I'll, I'll tell you why once I get into uh, these recordings. I want to show you the UAD version of this. This was recorded with the Arrow and the Blue microphone as well. And notice the difference. Uh, the microphone didn't change. The audio interface changed, but you can hear a difference in the noise that is picked up. The levels were set equally. As you can see, like the recordings are relatively the same. The, the Arrow is actually a little bit more louder than the Scarlet. But when you play the audio, you can't hear the music being picked up. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Nothing. Oh, baby. Nothing compared to the Scarlet. You can hear the dun 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 in the background versus nothing here. Everything is duplicated and set the same. All these tracks are exactly the same. They have the, the exact same settings, so there is no difference there. It's only a difference in the equipment. I want to get into the Scarlet and the BH2 to see if the BH2 will actually solve that issue in that fuzz. We'll see if you can have a cheaper audio interface and get a more expensive mic like this to kind of put yourself in the right direction of having a better quality sound. So I'm going to record the exact same thing that I recorded on these last uh two takes and then we'll compare Okay, now this is going to be a little bit louder because maybe I think our levels are slightly different. We'll do it without any of these effects. Let's play everything raw. All right, so here is the Scarlet by itself. Raw vocals. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Ah, oh, baby. And then here is the Scarlet and the BH2. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Ah, oh, baby. Okay, let's add a noise gate here. Um, obviously, it's a little bit louder. If you can hear, it does have a little bit more clarity, I, I will say. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Ah, oh, baby. It's still got that tiny amount of fuzz. If you have really good ears, you can kind of hear the... Okay, now let's go to the BH2. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Ah, oh, baby. Notice, notice 
you hear that so the difference here the microphone it's the same exact audio interface the scarlet solo but um i think because of that clarity it allows the noise gate to like negate more of that sound when i apply it so you don't hear as much of the in-betweens as you do in the in the blue uh -huh. you hear how it's picking it up right there that uh -huh. and then the bh2 right here Silence. Oh, baby. But still comes. Oh, baby. So now let's compare it with the UAD arrow and see if this can be compared. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. A lot more clarity. Oh, baby. Silence. Oh, baby. Part of that fuzz is actually coming from the blue microphone because I'm hearing it in this UAD arrow and blue combination as well. It's got that. Just a, a tiny amount of, whenever you say something, you can hear that fuzz in the background, a characteristic of the mic itself. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. And then we'll go to the, the BH2. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. <laughs> That's where the clarity is. And so I want to add the rest of these effects. Start with the blue. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now we'll do the UAD arrow and the blue microphone. Cleaner, much cleaner, but still got a little bit of that fuzz in there. And now we will do the Scarlet solo and the BH2. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So that fuzz is virtually gone. Let's loop this and see the difference in the quality with all the effects applied. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Been around the world, but I've never wow. seen you before. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Been around the world, but I've never seen you before. Been so much more clear on that high end. I don't think it has as much bottom, but it's it's more equal. It's it's not as accentuated, and you can add that in post if you want to. Been around the world, that's so much for me to explore. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Seen a lot of guys, but I've never seen you before. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to break up what you're telling me that you can't be faithful. Peeking a little bit. She keep feeling me up. Put it on me while we up in the club. Dipping on my lean back in the cup. Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch. Hey, yeah. Cause I'm out of luck. Cause if I ever lost you, no know I'll be. And I don't want to break up what you're telling me that you can't be faithful. And I don't want to break up. And I don't want to break up. We got to do the backgrounds for this or the, the ad, not the ad libs, the, the harmony. There we go. Hey, uh, she keep feeling me up. Put it on me while we up in the club. Dip it low and lean back in the cup. Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch. Hey, yeah. Cause I'm out of luck. Cause if I ever lost you, no I won't get. And I don't want to break up. But you're telling me that you can't be faithful. She keep feeling me up Put it on me while we up in the club Dip it low and lean back in the cup Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch Hey, yeah, cause I'm out of luck Cause if I ever She keep feeling me up Put it on me while we up in the club Dip it low and lean back in the cup Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch Hey, yeah, cause I'm out of luck Cause if I ever lost you, no I won't get And I don't wanna break up But you're telling me that you can't be faithful
Um, so I like it, man. I like the way this mic is sounding. Been around the world, there's so much for me to explore. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Sing it. Hey. Seen a lot of girls, but I've never seen you before. No. She keep feeling me up Put it on me while we up in the club Dipping on my lean back in the cut Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch Hey, yeah, guess I'm out of luck Cause if I ever lost you, no I won't be And I don't wanna break up But you're telling me that you can't be faithful if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. If you like the video, leave a like. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. A new video will be coming on Thursday or Friday, depending on you know how things go. The new Mobile March episode, me making an album with just my iPhone. It's going to be dope. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay legendary. <laughs> She keep feeling me up Put it on me while we up in the club Dipping on my lean back in the cut Hope you don't mind cause my hand got a touch Hey, yeah, guess I'm out of luck Cause if I ever lost you, no I won't get And I don't wanna break up But you're telling me that you can't be faithful